Welcome to our program, The China Briefing. In today's news, UK Prime Minister Keir Starmer has touched down in Washington to meet with US President Joe Biden. The duo is set to explore the possibility of lifting restrictions on Ukraine's use of long-range missiles against Russian targets. Starmer stressed the urgency of support for Ukraine as the winter months approach, further complicating military operations. In another significant development, Brazil's Supreme Court has unblocked the bank accounts of social media platform X and satellite internet provider Starlink after they paid hefty fines totaling over $3 million. This decision comes after a series of court orders related to misinformation issues, with Elon Musk expressing his discontent with the ruling, calling the judge an evil dictator. Lastly, we turn our attention to the sustainable mussel farming industry in Port Phillip Bay. Veteran fisherman Lance Whiffen is leading the charge to transform the blue mussel from fish bait to a gourmet delicacy, showcasing its environmental benefits while promoting local seafood. With plans to expand production and introduce innovative products, the mussel farming venture is making waves in the culinary scene. Please stay tuned for more detailed coverage. Deutsche Welle reports that UK Prime Minister Keir Starmer has arrived in Washington to discuss the potential lifting of restrictions on Ukraine's use of long-range missiles against Russian targets with US President Joe Biden. Currently, while Ukraine possesses Western missiles capable of striking deep into Russian territory, they are not permitted to do so. Starmer emphasized that the upcoming weeks could be pivotal for the war, as Russia intensifies its efforts in Donetsk and prepares for winter, which could complicate military operations for both sides. The discussions also aim to address broader geopolitical issues, including the situation in the Middle East and the Indo-Pacific region. In a related development, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has expressed optimism about Ukraine's recent military actions, claiming that their incursion into the Russian border region of Kursk has slowed down Russian advances in eastern Ukraine. Zelensky noted that while Russia has mobilized significant troops in the region, they have not achieved major successes. Meanwhile, NATO condemned a recent Russian missile strike on a civilian grain ship, highlighting the reckless nature of Russia's military actions and the threat they pose to global food security. The ongoing conflict continues to draw international scrutiny, with the EU considering new sanctions against Iran for its missile transfers to Russia. Al Jazeera highlights a significant legal ruling in Brazil, where the Supreme Court has unfrozen the bank accounts of X, formerly Twitter, and Starlink after they paid over $3 million in fines. The court had previously banned X due to its owner Elon Musk's refusal to comply with orders to remove accounts spreading misinformation. Musk's controversial actions and statements, particularly regarding Brazil's political landscape, have drawn criticism and sparked debates about the responsibilities of social media platforms in moderating content. As Brazil grapples with these issues, the mussel farming industry in Port Phillip Bay, as reported by the Australian Broadcasting Corporation, is thriving. Lance Whiffen, a veteran fisherman, is promoting the sustainability of the mussel industry, which has transformed the blue mussel from a mere bait into a gourmet delicacy, while also contributing positively to the local ecosystem. Australian Broadcasting Corporation. The capybara, a charming South American rodent, has captured the hearts of many around the globe, including Li Jing, who finally met her spirit animal at Sydney's Tarano Zoo. With their serene demeanour and adorable nature, capybaras have become a sensation, particularly after a viral song on TikTok in 2023. These semi-aquatic creatures, known for their calm and friendly disposition, have developed a dedicated following, especially among young people seeking a sense of tranquility in the chaotic post-pandemic world. The rise of the capybara has led to a cultural phenomenon, with communities forming around the animal, embracing its laid-back lifestyle as a form of self-expression. South China Morning Post. In China, university students are fiercely competing for majors that promise better job prospects, a stark contrast to previous generations who focused on prestige. John Fan's successful transfer from mechanical engineering to computer science highlights the intense pressure students face to excel academically in order to secure their desired disciplines. With the job market becoming increasingly saturated, many students are willing to go to great lengths, including hiring coaches for transfer interviews, to change majors. However, 
The rigid university system and limited resources create significant barriers, leaving many students feeling anxious and uncertain about their futures. South China Morning Post. Pablo Schreiber, the half-brother of actor Liev Schreiber, is making waves in the entertainment industry with his role in Netflix's upcoming thriller, His and Hers. Known for his performances in acclaimed series like Orange is the New Black and American Gods, Pablo's background is as intriguing as his career. Born in Canada, he shares a complex relationship with his brother Liev, having met only sporadically throughout their lives. Despite their distance, Pablo has carved out his own identity in the acting world, earning accolades for his stage work and balancing fatherhood with his rising stardom. As he takes on new projects, audiences are eager to see how he continues to establish his mark in Hollywood. South China Morning Post reports that Ashley Tisdale and Christopher French have recently welcomed their second daughter, Emerson Clover French, into their family, marking a new chapter in their decade-long marriage. Tisdale, known for her role in High School Musical, shared a heartfelt Instagram post featuring her family, expressing their love for the newborn. Reflecting on her journey to motherhood, Tisdale admitted that she initially wasn't planning for a second child but eventually felt ready to expand their family. Christopher French, a talented composer and multi-instrumentalist from California, has a rich musical background, having toured with alternative rock bands and composed for various television shows. The couple's love story began in late 2012 and blossomed into a beautiful partnership, both in life and music, with Tisdale and French collaborating on heartfelt songs, including a tribute to Tisdale's late grandfather. In another article from South China Morning Post, the fashion choices of US Vice President Kamala Harris are examined, particularly how her wardrobe reflects her professional journey and political aspirations. Harris, who rose through the ranks as a prosecutor, often opts for powerful pantsuits that convey professionalism and authority, a style reminiscent of her predecessor Hillary Clinton. However, since becoming Biden's running mate, she has gradually introduced more color into her outfits, culminating in her striking royal purple ensemble at the 2021 inauguration. Fashion journalist Elizabeth Holmes highlights how Harris style choices are intentional, aiming to avoid distractions while still making a statement. Notably, Harris is fond of Converse trainers, which not only signify her relatability but also connect her to the public. Ultimately, Harris' fashion narrative is one of consistency, with a touch of sparkle, carefully crafted to resonate with her role as a groundbreaking figure in American politics. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6DO team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6DO Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6DO team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6DO Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6DO Brief via email.